Today I'm going to take a look at this Disney's Aladdin game. From what I understand, it has no power. So let's see if we can get it apart and find out what's going on. So the first thing I want to do is give this a quick test, just so I can see what the fault actually is. Uh, but I want to test my batteries just to make sure I know that they're good. So with my known good batteries, we'll give it a test. And there's nothing. Completely dead. So let's get this opened up and see if we can't see what's going on inside. So removing the back, I see a few things right away. One, the speaker is uh, not looking so hot. It looks kind of rusted. Where all those wires meet the brown board, there's some corrosion. And also on the back of that green PCB is a crystal oscillator that looks like it has some corrosion. But I decided to focus on the wires and getting power to everything first. So here's a close up under the microscope of those wires where they connect to the board. And you can see some green corrosion right there and also on the leg of the resistor. You also notice the screw, the top there is pretty rusted and corroded as well. And here I'm just going to start removing all the screws on both of those circuit boards just so we can get a better look at everything and start making any necessary repairs. And with the final screw removed, we can go ahead and separate both of those boards from the top part of the case. You'll notice there's just that little bit of movement. You can see that black wire broke off from the negative part of the battery terminal. Yeah. There's so much corrosion there that it just snapped right off. And you can see the bit of corrosion there where that negative wire is supposed to connect to the terminal and it's broken off and then we'll move over and take a quick look at the board again where you can see all those wires have some corrosion and the negative wire just completely snapped off right there so i'm going to go ahead and desolder all four of those wires and try to get that area cleaned up as best i can Okay, just need to clean some flux out of those holes. And here I will add a bit of fresh solder to where the black wire will connect to the negative battery terminal. I'll also remove that bit of leftover wire that broke off earlier. And we'll get a new bit of black wire. Solder one end to the negative battery terminal. Connect up the other end to the board, and of course solder it in place. And I figure since I'm in here, I might as well replace the positive wire as well. So I'll grab a new length of wire, tin it up, and solder it to the positive battery terminal. The other end of the cable goes to the board. And even though I don't know for sure if the original speaker works or not, I decided to just go ahead and replace it with some new ones that I have. So the connector that came pre-installed on the new speaker is way too short, and for some reason I struggled to get it removed, so I decided to just attach new leads directly to the same solder points. Let's go ahead and get this new speaker in place.
I'll put the first wire into the board and solder that down. And then the same thing with the other wire. So with all the wires replaced and connected, we're going to check and see that we are getting voltage all the way to the board. Put it back together just enough to test and nothing still. Let's get back under the microscope, get a closer look at this crystal oscillator. And yeah, if you look at the legs, it definitely looks corroded. Let's try replacing that and see what happens. I do have a replacement crystal. I'm pretty sure it's the correct frequency. So let's pop out the old one. Solder up the new one. Clean up with a bit of isopropyl alcohol and a brush. Put this back together for hopefully the very last time. So with everything reassembled, we'll go ahead and put the batteries back in and give it one more test. Looks like it's doing something. I see something on the screen in the corner. Turn it on. Yes, there we go. Fixed. So yeah, as you were able to see, we were able to get it working. Um, it does have sound. Unfortunately, I can't get my mic to pick it up very well, so um, I can only show you a video of it just, just working. So. Anyways, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.